All right, so right now I'm on my way uh, kind of across town. I'm gonna go check out a place uh, kind of in the city uh, along the Chattahoochee River that seems really good for spotted salamanders, marbled salamanders. And I'm gonna see what I get today. So follow along and hopefully we find some. All right, so just arrived at the spot. I'm uh, gonna get my boots on, get my camera gear ready. This ten here, that one over there, and maybe a couple logs. Here we go. Now I get to try and jump across this log. So come with me on that ride. go. Spotted salamander. Exactly what I came out here for. Had to lift a friggin' tree to get it, but really excited. How awesome is that? Exactly what I came out here for. Spotted salamander. Really pretty when I love the orange spots by the head. Yellow spots going down the body. Just a perfect little spotted. <laughs> Alright. I'm really stoked. All right, so now that I found this little guy, I'm gonna shoot some photos and I'll kind of show you guys how I like to shoot photos of kind of different reptiles and amphibians and uh, in particular, the spotted salamander. All right, so I'm gonna tell you how I shoot photos of these guys. I'm far from an expert. Um, there's a multitude of ways you can do this. This is just how I like to shoot these photos and this is the stuff that I use. The first thing I'm gonna do is grab my camera. I shoot with a Canon 5D Mark IV. And because this is a, kind of a larger salamander, I'm not going to use a macro. I'm actually going to use a, a little nifty 50 1.8. And then I'm going to use this flash here and this nice light box kind of diffuser thing. I like this because it puts a nice soft light over the, the, the subject. For this, I actually may also use both a light bounce and a second flash as well. Camera body. I've got this like stick going in my ear right now. While it's daylight, um, sometimes you get good daylight, sometimes you get bad. This actually isn't bad daylight, but um, I really would like to kind of put a little extra light on this guy. Um, it really looks good with salamanders and amphibians. Um, the 
have some nice soft extra light. I'm gonna place this. Okay. All this stuff. Okay. And now we're ready to shoot our subject. So I'm gonna try and set this up and we'll see how this goes. Okay, so what I've done here is kind of set up a pretty natural scene. Um, I like the way this moss looks. I like the way this uh, decomposing wood looks. There's this, just happen to be these pine needles here, so I'm gonna kind of try and arrange those in a way that is kind of visually pleasing. And um, just gonna shoot till it, shoot till it seems right. And I'm gonna kind of compose based on this little scene. I'm gonna come in a little close here. And as you can see, way too bright. Yeah, I like this. Much better. I'm gonna drop my ISO down to 100. Boom. Much better. Try this up here. There we go. This one's from above. I actually really like the way that looks. This is a really nice looking spot in Salamander. I'm really happy I found it. Gonna come this way. That's what she said. One thing when you're shooting salamanders that's crucial is sometimes you have to kind of get them wet. So because I'm next to the wetland that he uh, lives next to, I'm just gonna go ahead, give him a quick dip, kind of clean off some of this dirt because it is gonna show up in the photo. And kind of a perfection. Give him a quick dip, clean him up, and then we might be able to, to uh, wrap up this photo. All right, so a little, little dishevel after that. All right, so among those photos, there should be a good one. Um, and then now I'm just gonna kind of get some detail shots for video and we're gonna let this guy go back in his habitat. So we're gonna take this little spotted salamander, we're gonna put him back under the log he was under. Okay, so when you let these guys go, you always wanna let them go next to the log. You don't wanna put them under it and then put the log back, so he's just gonna go in here. Go right back where he was at. See ya, buddy. Thanks for the good times. Hey. <laughs> If you liked this video and if you liked uh, seeing all the stuff I did with the different cameras, I'm going to put links to all the camera equipment I use uh, down in the description. Uh, thanks for watching this video. If you like more videos like this, I upload herping videos every Friday, or at least I try to. Um, and uh, subscribe, and you'll get more videos like this and more videos on turtle care, reptiles, and uh, photography. So thanks for watching. You guys are awesome. I'll see you on the next one.